you know, even though maybe I will go to school with a torn shirt or maybe I will go to school without shoes, but benge na mashoni, benge figa gu kona laba bako ge smart, give fagek bona, bang tan the food sometimes and go ba benge le ngane e babul, e kuluma yo ngenza ma jokes ngba kule le ngba tatele. So when you carried yourself accordingly irrelevant of what was happening? Yes, and some of them will laugh thinking that maybe this one is crazy, why maybe she's dancing or maybe like they will ask me over and over to dance, I will dance. They will ask me over and over to act, or maybe to sing. I was that child, and I knew, or I know exactly at the time that you know what you will become something in life. And I used to say, Mina, I'll be on TV regardless whether something gets my advert or gets any. Got and Jimmy back TV, and I was so passionate. And um, yeah, that's why I'm planning. I'm living my own dream. Yeah. Mm. 702 The Upside of Failure Sometimes failure is the foundation of greatest success stories Grammy Award winner global platinum selling artist businesswoman philanthropist somebody flying the South African flag very high Joining us on the upside of failure. No, how are you? Welcome. Thank you so much. Yes, good for the sun. And you're one top of the landing engine. Oh, it's a pit and was a kick is an avenger. Oh, I'm coming. I'm putting it. Listen, I always say people must hire me as they hype. Oh. As they hype woman, you oh know, my gosh. because we, we are very, very proud of you. Let me first start by saying that knowing that there aren't many um, women from South Africa who own that coveted award. Mm. But even prior um, to that, I mean, I think you had pretty much made your mark. Do, mm. you, do you feel like you had made your mark prior to the uh. Grammy win? I think so. And I'm happy that you are talking about it today because sometimes I do feel that with other people, maybe they are not really, really giving me that recognition. Mm. So I'm happy that you are here saying it in front of me, not when maybe I'm past, like I'm no longer yes. alive. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate Help Help me understand, especially with what you just said now about recognition. How mm. How do you measure because people don't see the work that goes into yeah. what we do as creatives they yes. don't see you know the songs that got kicked off the album they don't see the the song you loved that the team said nope it's not going they mm. don't see the 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 so many of the struggles right so they will measure what they think your labor has been on what they've seen mm -hmm. so what for you or how do you measure when you like you feel like you don't get a certain type of recognition. Just, just one simple thing, Jay. You would see, you'll maybe uh, see people maybe on social media arguing that I know Gabo didn't write this song. Mm. Like I want each generation as I after me to know that I am the songwriter of that certain song. So lo konji ngenzangbo nuguti. I don't know whether people are ignorant or whatsoever, but mm. because I want people to know that mm. but mm. especially for the the song which Jerusalem. I'm overseas and someone will be saying to me, you know, um, I was reading uh, maybe Google uh, and something it when you didn't write the song and imagine outside the country. So in Patagabakulutamara, why are you bami? So it's that thing, South Africa being later down. Yes, it's that thing of feeling like you constantly have to keep proving yourself because people are invalidating your skills and your talent. And I think I, I really wonder because I think as South Africans, we are not that knowledgeable of the music industry. Mm -hmm. And maybe let's, That's take, true. A, That's let's take a moment to have a chat about it. Knowledgeable in the sense that we have producers, we have DJs, yes. we have composers, yes. we have songwriters, mm -hmm. we have lyricists, yes. right? So because the DJ culture is at a point where DJs are the super stars of the moment, particularly in dance genres mm. so when a person is a dj producer the assumption is you came into studio and they said here are the words 
he is the melody. La la la. You it's are like just that. a session singer. That's what I can think. Can I tell think. you? There's a song I just did now, and the guy happened to produce the song, and I'm the singer and the songwriter. Like when I'm saying producing, I mean like doing the beat. Yes. But people, so he's the one that sits and does the. Kung, kung, yes, kung, the beat. And then that's it. Yes, tit, yes. Tit, then, but the yes. guy, the, the guys or people on social media, they were saying. It's actually his song featuring me. Yes. All the time, they always like think that uh, us ladies, we must be featured. Like we we yes. are under. And the only to think, this is my song. I'm featuring this guy. The yes. guy is the newcomer. <laughs> but already they are thinking that, oh, so the the the, the company is, uh, the owner of the company is this guy. Nom Kebo is under this guy. Like, I don't know, man. I think Leo <laughs> mentality, we need to change it. Yokkabanguguti. I, I think I think it's not just if if I'm gonna look at it globally, ne? and it's not a consolation, but I hope what I'm about to say is gonna console you. Mm. Even Mariah Carey, mm. who is one of the biggest songwriters of our time, who made it into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, mm. people don't know she wrote so much of her music. They thought she was the singer that her hubby, Tommy Matola, was getting all the best songs, the best everything, and getting her to sing. And 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 it it's even if today people don't recognize and give her the acknowledgement. Mm. So I don't think it's just the South African mentality around women. All over. It's all <laughs> over, but it is more difficult because people imagine, individuals imagine the producer is the mastermind every time mm. they 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 don't realize that a producer can also be inspired by just a raw vocal melody mm, mm. and create mm, underneath that mm. so i do connect to what you're saying about the recognition and 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 also honestly speaking we can't take anything away from them producers mm. uh, those guys who are doing uh, the beats they're really amazing mm. like they are really amazing and talented. 20, like mm. 100 times like they are very talented. I'm not really trying to take anything away from them, but also I want people to also know that as women, we are also I don't know whether should I say intelligent or we are also powerful. Like we are, you know, we we can't do things. You mm. know, it is possible for us to do things. And I, I I'm wondering, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to have the conversation with you. I mean, especially because this is an upside of failure of what may have happened in your life that you perceive as failure. What do you think you could have done differently in terms of choices in your music career to dispel this experience you're going through? Because it's easy for people to just read headlines mm. and be like, ah, this one's fighting with their label, this one's hating our fave and whatever. But there are certain things, and it could be around how we title a song, how we put it out. It could be around, maybe I should have done that first interview mm. and owned a song. Mm. What do you think you could have done differently? And I think this really is a metaphor <sighs> to everybody in their lives because as women, particularly, mm. we naturally don't like to hype ourselves up. Mm. We struggle to be like, we're the best. <laughs> you know, that's not la, la, la. what we do. You are actually talking to me. I'm not that kind of a person. <laughs> like I'm very down to earth. Like, yo. I feel um, like you need to have a bit of that Nicki Minaj rapper, ne? Megan the Stalin energy where you talk about, I'm the best at everything. Yo. You, you are, because. We I am not that girl, hey? <laughs> really? You know, um, <laughs> people who are around me, they will tell you that even if it's my time to get in studio, I'll be never so be like, oh God, please help me. You know, I know nothing. You're the one who knows. <laughs> like, I'm always nervous. And my husband will be like, ah, but Namgabo, you know this. Why are you like yes. nervous? And all, like, I'm always like that. I pray like in Jay. No more songs on any stage. I don't know, Ganjan. Yeah. So, you know, I asked um Dogos on Bumble, yes. the same question about I'm about to ask you. Yeah. Because she had obviously just won this massive yes, summer. Of course. Congratulations beautiful to her. Yeah, that yeah. she had last year. Mm. And because you said just now, you said, God, you're the one who knows everything. I know nothing. Mm. So who won the Grammy? Is it you or God? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I needed to hear you say that because I, I feel like 
on the one hand, to come back to the recognition thing, and I, I'm sharing this because I struggle with the same thing. Mm. You have moments where you're like, excuse me, give me my flowers, you know? Mm. Show me my, yes. <laughs> I paid my dues. But on the other hand, I'm also like, yo, but I can mm. show. Mm. Is it, how? what percentage of the Grammy was you? What percentage is God? Oh my gosh, I'm giving it all <laughs> to God. I'm sorry. <laughs> My angel, I'm giving it all to God. Like, you know, Mina, Impiloyami, a miracle. No mutongazi, yo, where I started and where I'm at today. Honestly, it's a miracle. Namangiaz, sometimes me, myself, Ginokbuza, and getting course, and Julek Anja, and Ilana. How did I do it? So let me, let me translate because everybody that's listening, I must translate everything you say oh if you're not gosh, gonna sorry. i know it's fine i know when we get passionate you go to mother tongue yeah? Yeah. but you're saying that um everything in your life your life is a miracle and everything great that's happened to you is because of god because you don't even know how can i tell you you know when you're from i'm from the humble beginnings mm. i'm from i'm not even shy to say this from Poor family, whereby even people were thinking that, ah, this one will never go anywhere because maybe it, 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 way, 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 um, in a location that you were in, mm. like everyone knows that ah, shame in that house, mm. you know, you don't even have money to, your, your, your parents don't even have money to take you maybe to university or whatever, you know. So, ah, like really, my life is a miracle. Mm. Honestly, mm. it's a miracle. I'm taking all. I'm, I'm I'm giving it all to God. Like mm. as I'm saying that, even myself, sometimes I don't understand. I will cry mm. and be like, God, I thank you. I will forever be grateful. When when you were growing up, you were this little girl, Kolokshin. Yes. What did you believe failure was? Because if you're surrounded by people who automatically believe you won't amount to much because shame mm. true shame, shame right i i don't know if that puts you in a position where you are more vulnerable to th already well if if i'm a failure anyways then gishab no, or for or me, you saw yourself differently I way me na you know, even though maybe I will go to school with a torn shirt or maybe I will go to school without shoes, but bengi na maloni, beng figa gu kona la baba koge smart, gi give fagek bona bang time the food sometimes ngoba bengi le ngane e babul e kuluma yo ngenza ma jokes ngba kule So when are you carried yourself accordingly, irrelevant yes. of what was happening. Yes, and some of them of, will laugh, thinking yes. that maybe this one is crazy. Why? Maybe she's dancing, or maybe like they will ask me over and over to dance. I will dance. They will ask me over and over to act, or maybe to sing. I was that child. And I knew, or I know exactly at the time that, you know what, you'll become something in life. And I used to say, Mina, I'll be on TV, regardless whether something gains my advert or gains TV. And I was so passionate. And um, yeah, that's why I'm planning. I'm living my own dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, there's something you just said that reminded me of something that I want to share with everybody. So Gary V is this motivational speaker and he's always posting things. And he met a fan one day mm -hmm. and she came to him and she said, you know, I'm going to be somebody one day. Yes. I'm going to be somebody. That's Everybody's going to know. But mm. you know what he said to her? Yeah. He said, you are somebody. Mm. You've always been somebody. Mm. Before your Grammy, Mm. When you were in the torn school uniform, mm. when they were asking you to dance and laughing at you, mm. you were somebody. The difference is the world didn't know it yet. Mm. So when did you know internally that you are that somebody? When did you when did you feel like yo, I am somebody? I have made it to that thing I grew up thinking I'm somebody. Can I tell you, Mina, way, way, way back, I knew that I'm somebody. I knew that Mina, people will laugh at me, but Mina, I will know what Mina, I am somebody. When I'm out there, what Mina, I'm cool. When I'm out there, I'm slim. Or what Mina, I'm actor. Like I always knew that I'm somebody. Um, Gingati, la ogwe tige kona. Masasangi la Johannesburg, Kingi, Peking singer. Kwa pela, 
ilapho ngathi kwehlika khona kwaphela mathemba kumina ngabona ukuthi hayi mane lento yo music hayi ngathi ya stress ngathi ayiko So as in when when you moved now the side you were a backing vocalist and you were a backing vocalist for many artists yes. in the gospel space yes. even the you know the late Zahara the late Fiso it's, it's so many that yes. have, have even passed on but for you you were feeling discouraged yes that you weren't because you know i was seeing like ya cool imnyaka yahamba like i'm getting old nothing mm. is happening so i started now and the talent in johannesburg is so much nga feeling at manje ngathi nomcebo like ngaqala manje ngazibukela phansi ukuthi ngathi like angikho enough you yabona so but you, way you back, yourself were, were were um feeling insecure and like putting yourself down. Yes, mm. yes. But uh, before coming to Johannesburg, I was that kind of a child or good mina no more angle tell you beyond mina. Mina I will sing mina. I don't yes. care who beyond is. <laughs> mina no more angle tell you or become a lope like I was that child. Yes. 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 Being figure and give a right and being echo into what I'm depressed just because maybe I didn't get my first meal at home mm. or maybe uh, 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 yesterday I did not eat and I I mm. I was very bubbly. Mm, mm. Yeah. So going back to the young version of you, what what did you believe failure was in your mind? Mm. Were you imagining okay if I grow up and this dream doesn't happen? Mm. that means I'm a failure or was it your my report card is not looking wow what did you understand failure meant Ish. of course uh, abazalibe ethu bonke bayathanda ukuthi sibe nemfundo education is very important mm. so even with me i knew exactly that education is important mm. i knew that i need to study though honestly speaking i knew also at the back of my mind that i don't want to be a, a teacher or whatever like i want to be a singer i remember also at school our teacher was asking so what you want to be what yes. you want to study after uh, matriculating and all of that i was like i want to study music and my class was like ah, <laughs> you can't study music you know they were laughing at me because at that time maybe we, we didn't they didn't know that you can actually study music you mm. know so um for me ish if failure ngingathi nje ungabi lutha empilweni regardless whether ngokwemfundo or ngokwe talent ukuthi nje ngizibone ngunomcebo ohlampo osemgaqweni ophuza utshwala so for you it wasn't related to anything education. specific it wasn't related to that but what you maybe saw mm. growing up which was somebody who was always drinking and just not going anywhere with their life maybe for that for me for that's you. that's a failure mean for you like yes. i'm being ayabonje i don't want myself to be that um that girl hence even today also i respect people and issue to mundo puzu to alangi against yena because it's puzu and they live it's again abantu as much as be puzu got the basawas we control got a minute and the decision gami what's in the boy now you'll never taste to alcohol in mm. people now because give ne so you've never drank yes a drop of alcohol yes because wow. i've got a belief you're going to say abantu as fun mm. when now uh, you will try e alcohol just because you want to ban him seven zela and then it does only to find you what to you you understand Yes. So that's why ngathi nje mina ngithatha i-decision yokuthi ngifuna ukuzibona ngiyi something empilweni ngeke mina ngitheste i-drug ukwayi or yini ngeke nje ngoba So no cigarettes no drinking you don't nothing. even want to try I don't because I believe that we are not the same as people mm. you can you can do it it's 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 working for you it's okay for you kudos for you and mm. I've got plenty of friends who are doing it and I love them there's nothing wrong with them but for me I I I know. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. When when now the you know the break happened yes. and maybe share with us what the big break was because people can look from the outside and say oh Jerusalem was the break. Mm -hmm. But that might not have been the break for you. What mm -hmm. for you was the thing that was like finally it's my time. Finally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say 
the collaboration that I did with DJ Kanyane, the mm. song called Emazulini, Sazobuya, Salusubuya, Salusubuya. Mm. You know that song because I've been at the back for so many years. Mm. I was starting to lose hope. Mm. But for me to get that opportunity, Yoguti Ngwazu Gwenza Ingoma, Yatandwa is a long key, and not only South Africa, Pela, but mm. Namazo said to the South Africa, like Abo Botswana, Abo Zimbabwe. So, Leonto, young itty, at least now, Abantu Sebea Bonuguti, Unum Debo is talented. Yes. Because, I, I, you know, I was starting to think that maybe. Maybe people think I'm not talented, and there was something it mean I was not made of fugutsi jengs or be backing singer. Oh yeah, one. Yes, because and I, it's not to say there's anything wrong with being a backing singer, but you. No, you, but I know, knew. I know that all those people about my backing singers, they want to be in front. Got a gwen zegi, abai totally opportunity. So for me, I got totally opportunity. I got to pull me la paya. I got backing singer and be the lead. And be the lead, yo. That's why Pela after that song. Emma Zulwini, there were now people coming after to say, please, we want to work with you. That's mm. now that's why today we've got a Mark Tulafan and about Jerusalem, yes. about Kola Moyawami, all because of that one song, Emma Zulwini. Because if yes. it wasn't for you, now Ubana was a trust to Wutinum Tabo can actually do it because Nang Tatsong Wutinji, he baking sink. There was the incident where on that uh, European show where there was a blackface incident of the artist that was you know, covered themselves in your skin color in inverted commas because we know it's highly racist, but that's not the question I've I want to ask. I've running away from that question. No, but that's not even <laughs> what I want to focus on, yeah. right? While that situation is completely messed up, right? Is there a part of you that was like, well, I mean, they're singing my song. They they are imitating me. Was that's, there that's any why, part of you that that's came That's why out? I'm saying, you know, all this well, time, I, I didn't want to uh, respond to this question. Reason being... Um, and not to say, hear me out clearly, I'm not in any way um, uh, agreeing with, condoning with what was done. But there was a part of me where I was, where I was like, this girl is huge. It, did you think that? Of course. As for me, honestly speaking, Mina, I really checked to Guti, the person who was doing this. Mm. Ama intentions work, I beg mm. So, Mina, I really, really, really check that video and I realized that the, the, the intentions mm. of this lady were not really bad. Mm. It was all because of love. Mm. And also, I went back to check, I, 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 to check uh, 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 on social media or on Google. I did also notice that people have been doing this Kubanta uh, Bafana Nabo Michael Jackson. Yes. Then, Manja Masago and Zwagmina, Abantuba complain, and Manja Abantuma be complain about a million. Who are you as Nomta Buzoti? Kami Nangbone Gazu Silidomazane. We understand. I completely understand. And also, I mm. do understand Gutsbona, where are they coming from? And in Azanga feel good, maybe Numgabo, it's because when Auzanga Wayi experience a lip black face, that's why some boy no feel and go good to I man. As much as you are not condoning a black face, but this woman was really not about, mm. uh, 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 like, how can I put it? She, there was no ill, she didn't mean harm, there she was didn't no mean harm. Tension. But the reason I'm asking is because. I feel like it's a safe way to say, look, there was something positive out of that entire experience. Because yes. now you are in news outlets in countries. Like, check that the dress. The dress that that woman was wearing. She went out to do exactly the same dress that I was wearing on on, on, on the uh, uh, Jerusalem video. Mm. Like, you know, so for me, honestly, Mina, I felt like this was just love. Mm. But yeah, I, if people, they think it's... Mm. 702. The upside of failure. Sometimes failure is the foundation of greatest success stories.